Okay, Florida fans, this one's for you. I am not being critical at all, but yeah, I got got some problems down there. Um, of course, I mean, y'all know better than anybody the rumors that's been going around about Billy Napier and how much longer he'll be there, or do they have the buyout money yet? Who would they hire if they fired him, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And it's been said by other people recently, um, but, you know, it's true, and I'll say it again. Florida is now where Tennessee was back around 2015, uh, 2016. You know, y'all are wandering in the wilderness pretty bad. And uh, it, it shouldn't come with the territory the way you're doing it. Um, you know, you had Dan Mullen. He gets fired and shouldn't have been. Before that, you had Randy Shannon was there for a year. Had Jim McElwain for three years before that. And I think Dan Mullen was there for what about about four years but um and now you've got you've got napier which was a really a bad hire to begin with but you know i'm sure there'll be people arguing me that but you know it has ended up being a bad hire uh he's been in over his head the whole time he's been there but here's the thing about florida uh you know florida may either stay in the trap they've been in like Tennessee was for a couple of years, or they may find their way out of it. You know, they'll get rid of Billy Napier and they'll hire somebody else in. What are your expectations um, when you hire somebody else in, regardless? You know, and y'all have heard all the rumors too. You know, I've heard John Gruden's name, I've heard Lane Kiffin's name, and, and, and among others. You know, and it's it's the normal names you hear over and over again every time a vacancy opens up. Um, it very rarely ever happens, but you know, I guess you, I guess you never know. But, um, you know, the SEC is better when Florida and like all these other teams are having better years. Um, when there's years where there is such a big difference between the the top teams and the bottom teams, you know, those years aren't that great. You know, when, when Tennessee or when Florida rather it has a good team. Um, it, it's better, you know, because the, the Florida-Tennessee game is better. The Florida-Georgia the Florida -Georgia game is better. So seeing Florida down, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of point and laugh in there from, you know, Tennessee fans, Georgia fans, Florida State fans, you know, whatever, you know, Kentucky fans. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it gets kind of old um, because, you know, we like that competition. We like those games, and those games are better when both of the teams are better. So obviously they need to they need to get it right with this hire. If they do move forward and, and get rid of Coach Napier, um, whoever comes in next, you know, they're gonna have to recruit the team first. And sadly in this day day and age of NIL, you know, who who knows who else you're gonna you're gonna lose. You know, um DJ Lagway, great quarterback. Probably going to be somewhere else next year. Um, you know, I don't want to put words in his mouth. I don't know if he's regretting being there now, but you know, he's probably gonna he's probably gonna move on. So good luck to you, and I, and I and I do mean that because I know what it's like. Like I said, Tennessee was in this situation for for years, not not too long ago, and we finally got it right with a home run of a athletic director hire, and then immediately thereafter with with him hiring coach Heupel so but whoever they decide to bring in now hopefully you don't end up in another situation with another Billy Napier but whoever they bring in you're gonna have to give him time I mean Florida that program is so far down right now you know the first couple of years that new coach is going to be there ain't going to be ain't going to be great you know the first year or two that coach Heupel was there nowhere near landed at expectations for for Tennessee, and now here we are, you know, a couple of years after that, you know, and there's people all over the country, you know, saying they wouldn't be surprised to see us in the SEC championship game and make a pretty good run into the playoffs. You know, we missed the playoffs recently by not a lot. So when it was a four team deal. So, you know, you got to make a you got to make that good hire when you get somebody new coming in, but then you're going to have to be patient with them. You know, you bring somebody in, you know, and then three years later, you know, yeah, I mean, Florida's got money. And it seems like, you know, Florida, like every other SEC school, if they just have to snap their fingers and come up with 
20 or 30, 30 million dollars, they have the ability to do that, like most schools of that caliber can. So, you know, you hire a good coach in there, treat him right, obviously, you know, but give it time to get his people in there, uh, get his systems in place, and, and let him let him work because. You bring somebody in there, and then two or three years, hell, even three or four years from now, you're already talking about firing the guy. You're right back to square one, you know. And and Tennessee came dangerously close to the the area of well, if we are starting to build this reputation of just okay, we're tired of this coach, you know. After a couple of years, we're going to fire him and try to move on to the next big thing, you know. You start becoming known. For a school that'll that'll do that, that that every two or three, three or four years, you know they're going to fire whoever they've got if they're not winning the conference and playing for a national championship. So you you don't want that reputation because at that point, who can you get? Who who's going to want to talk to you if they know that if they can't turn things around in two years, they're going to be out of a job whether they get their buyout money or not. So, um, yeah, some some patience is going to have to be exercised um take your time find the right guy find the right fit you know somebody that's going to at least fit in to begin with and then start building the culture that you need the culture that he wants um around his plan of how he wants to wants to turn y'all around because to be honest with you and i feel like most rational florida fans would agree with me there's not a whole lot in place that that really needs to stay you know, as far as culture and identity and that kind of thing, you, you pretty much need an overhaul. And I'm not saying, you know, go in and fire the athletic director and all else. You know, it's Scott Strickland, from everything I've heard about the guy from, you know, since he's been with y'all and then his time at, at Mississippi State, you know, he's, he's not a bad athletic director. So, you know, let him do his job, um, use the tools around him, you know, find, you know, who's going to be a good fit for y'all moving forward. You know, and then welcome the guy in and, and give him time. You know, like I said, you you hire somebody in those first couple of years, it, it it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be great. It ain't gonna be great. I mean, there's he's gonna have to, you know, spend some time with new getting new recruits in. You know, using the transfer portal, the whole deal. But you know, obviously, you want somebody that as a basis will go after those will go after these these high school recruits because that's that's how you build a program from the ground up um, it's not like some of these other programs out there where you know the coach comes in and wants to completely rebuild a program kicks half the team kicks half the players off the team and then just brings in 30 or 40 transfer portal guys it, i mean it'll, it'll work sometimes and it'll work a little bit but it's not going to get you to where you need to go because you bring in these transfer portal guys and how long are they going to be there a year or two maybe three you know, so really good recruiting is still started in high school, bringing these high school, you know, kids in, uh, you know, guys that that want to come in and gonna they're gonna fit your system, they're gonna add to it and be and be a benefit. So, like I said, Florida man, hey, we feel you. We were we were in that desert for a while through you know the, you know what we call the the Derek Dooley days and. You know the our our Lane Kiffin experience and you know Butch Jones and everything else. So yeah, just give it time. You'll 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 get there. You know it's, it's not like y'all are gonna completely go away. Um, you know y'all are gonna eventually come right back out. Not I'm not saying on top, but you're you're gonna come back to where you were. Um, and all of this Billy Napier business is just gonna be a bad memory. Um, like some of those coaches I mentioned, all for for Tennessee are. So, like I said, I just wanted to kind of offer y'all a little bit, a little bit of encouragement because I feel like you could probably you could probably need it about now. But hang in there; it's going to be a rough season. Hey, you know it is what it is. You know, best case, best thing to do now is to just move forward, start cutting ties, move forward. You know, things are eventually going to get better. So. Y'all have a great day and good luck this weekend. Take it easy.